Hey Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome back for a review from Allagash of Portland, Maine. This is the uh, 2011 Fluxus. Uh, this is a beer that they brew, they've brewed every year, a variation on it, uh, since 2007 to commemorate the sale of their first beer, which was in July of 1995. This is a French-style farmhouse ale. So, um, it's not meant to sit around for long periods of time. It's meant to be consumed mainly in the warmer months. However, I'm uh, sampling it or trying it out uh, during the fall. But that's all right. It's uh, one I've been meaning to try for a little while. I, I bought it some months ago and I've been kind of holding on to it for uh, a chance to review it. And uh, this is that chance. Uh, they have a little bit of a description on here. It says fluxus, which is a noun and it's in Latin. Uh, a one, a flowing or flow and two, continuous change, passage, or movement. So, uh, the uh, ABV on this is 8% ABV. So, uh, that's a little uh, on the higher side of what farmhouse ales are. Farmhouse ales can be, oh, 5, 6, 7%, 8, 9, you can find them at that ABV, but uh, that's sort of the higher end, but that's fine. Um, it's, it's a special edition. They only do it uh, once a year, and... and uh, and once it's gone for the year, it's gone. So, as you can see, this has the uh, cork and the 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 uh, cork and the and the wire cap on this. So, this may take a second for me to get this all off. The wire piece comes off real easy. Now, let's see about popping the cork. Uh, it's going to come off, I think, pretty good. Off she goes. Goodbye. There's a cork that's gone across the room, and there's some smoke, and there's a little bit of. Uh, a carbonation inside the glass, so let's pour it right into this Allagash glass. I always like the sound of beer pouring into uh, glasses from the uh, larger containers like this, the larger 22 and, or 26 ounce bottles. It's that glug 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 sound. This one though is the uh, 25 ounce or 26 ounce. So, um, well, there's a nice color on this. It's definitely got uh, some hazy uh, cloudiness, and I think it's because I haven't warmed it up enough. Uh, you're supposed to serve this around 45, 50 degrees. It's been in my fridge, and I let it sit out for 10 or 15 minutes before doing this review. So that might be uh, a bit of the uh, cloudy, refrigerated cloud that you get sometimes for not letting it sit long enough. But the color, though, is a, is a light to medium amber. It's uh, a nice color. I, I like the color on this. It's, it's actually a, you know, an attractive looking beer and uh, it's got a, a long lasting head and it has a lot of aroma. I haven't uh, put it up to my nose yet, but I could whiff it standing over here. Now let's really give it a whiff. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. You're getting, a, I am getting a, a good malty uh, character on this. What they use for this particular uh, brew is they use some uh, with Belgian, they use Belgian and they use uh, some Munich malts. They use a little wheat, and I'm getting a little wheat in this. And they only use one strain of hops. So it's it's going to be a more malty, wheaty uh, kind of character, I think. So, and that's the aroma I'm getting right now. It uh, You're not getting a whole hop aroma. You're getting more of the malts, which are pretty abundant, and the wheat, which is also, you know, pretty powerful on the nose kind of an earthy yeast aroma as well. Yeah, I'm getting just a hint of the yeast. So, let's give it a taste. Ooh, now, there's definitely a, a slight sour character to it, uh, but the body itself is, um, it's, I'd say, medium, a medium to fuller body. Uh, that sounds about right, feels about right. Hmm. Medium, I'd say more medium. Definitely not thin or watered down. It's got a little oomph to it in the body. Um, but right off the bat though, I'm not getting as much of the wheat and the malts on the taste. I'm getting them, yes, they're there. Um, and you notice them, but what I'm getting more of is this kind of slightly sour characteristic. Not tart, more sour. Uh, you know, and that's, that's all right. I, I think I was... Um, looking for a more malty sensation, but that would not necessarily be in the style. So, uh, but you are getting, I'm getting a bit of a nice, oh, slightly sour characteristic on this. 
Mm. And the malts and uh, you know the malts and the yeast are in there are playing in this as well. The hops are there is a slight hoppiness at the end. They're more of a, sort of a backdrop. They're more of uh, something that just sort of decorates the uh, the beer out a little bit. But since they use multiple malts and only one strain of uh, one strain of hops, I guess that would be the kind of uh, sensation you would get. Uh, a slightly more malty uh, characteristic with the hops just kind of playing up in the background. But really it's got a, a nice enough flavor. It's, it's, it's a fairly nice flavor. And, um, you know, I, it's, a, it's, it's a likable beer, but most everything from Allagash is likable. To me, anyway, I like most everything that Allagash puts out. And, um, but this one, that's a likable beer, and I'm looking forward to finishing it off. Uh, but this one seems to be working out fine for me, I think. Hmm. It's got, uh, you know, it's got a flavor that I'll remember. I, I, I think it's one of those types of beers that if someone were to ask me months from now, so what do you think of the Allagash Fluxus? I would be able to tell them. There are some beers I can do that. You know, I, I try so many different types of beers, and uh, frequently someone will say to me, well, if you tried this beer, and says, yeah, I tried that a year or two ago. Let me think. Um, you know, I remember this about it, but I don't remember whether, how much I liked it or disliked it. In this case, if someone says to me, hey, you ever had that Allagash Fluxus? I'll be able to say, oh, yeah, I did. And it's a, you know, it's a nice, got a, got a nice malty, slightly malty, and a good sour character to it. And I think that's something that is probably the best way to describe it. So, that's it for today's review. Today's beer was Allagash Fluxus from the 2011 batch. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.